Hey everyone, I thought I'd show you what I do with heavy items that aren't going to fit in a flat rate box. So this is some Carolina boots that just sold and they're going to be going in a regular brown box, right? Cardboard box right here. Um, we had these listed as calculated shipping. So depending on where the buyer is, they're going to pay that distance plus this weight. So it's over five pounds, which means it's going to be marked as six pounds for USPS. So let's take it started. I'm going to wrap these in mailers. So typically large items like this won't fit in my normal plastic Ziploc bags that I use. So we just leave them on a shelf. We don't do a ton of boots, so that's fine for us. But we use these mailers to cover them up. I'll wrap each one individually and then put them in the box for you. All right, so now you can see I've individually packaged both boots. So this one has some tape on there. I just use two of my standard poly mailers to make sure that this doesn't get damaged in case the box gets wet. It just gives a little bit extra protection. I know these are rugged boots, but we always do that because they're leather. You don't want any kind of moisture in there. So what I did was I found this perfectly sized box and I have one boot laying this way with the heel down there. And I'm gonna put the other one inverse like this. There we go, and now they fit perfectly, and I'll be able to wrap this up, seal the box, and stick the label on. If you're interested in more details for shipping, I do have a beginner's guide for shipping, so if you wanna know what calculated shipping is, what flat rate is, how to use USPS for different weights and stuff, go watch that video, it'll really help you out with all those different kinds of items you may ship on eBay, or Poshmark, or Macari. Thanks for watching.